FishTankTV.com, YouTube, what's going on? I'm going to talk about a couple things in this video going off my 125. And the main thing I want to talk about, look at my dominant male angelfish behind the female right here. He's reclaimed his dominance. You see, she's not picking on him anymore. I don't know what happened, but when I was sleeping or early in the morning, he probably reclaimed his dominance by fighting her again. And he won. <clears throat> or he's, I think she has, might, she might have made it paired off with this golden angel. So, <clears throat> a few things I want to talk about in this video. First of all, there's some plants missing. I'm going to tell you what happened to the plants. They melted. And the reason for that is because I got those plants in when I had that Odyssey heater. When I first got them, they were looking shitty. That's why Murtala, um, Murtala Macaranda, that's gone too. Because the, the temperature, those those plants need high high temperature water. 80s, upper 70s. <clears throat> this was lower, 60s upper around 70 somewhere around there and the plants just could not handle it and they didn't have that co2 in the tank either so it wasn't working out and they melted it but i've got some more plants coming in going to take care of it and uh yeah that's the reason they died they just melted because of temperature there wasn't any co2 they had the nutrients they had the light i mean these t5s don't look like they're doing much but they're very high output t5s and uh it's just there wasn't, there wasn't enough co2 and there was, the water temperature wasn't warm enough but i want to talk about my electric blue ram this little girl right here, I've had her for a week and a day, and she is coloring up so much. Look at that. When I first got her, she was barely even blue, and all she's been eating is New Life Spectrum, and look at her. She's really starting to color up, and guess what? She's paired off with the German Blue Ram. Now, he doesn't look that good right now, but he's getting there. He's coloring up too, but not as much as her. She is just stunning, outstanding blue. And I've only had her a week and a day, and she's colored up that much. So what I'm hoping they're going to do one day is pair her off. I mean, I know they're paired off, but I want them to spawn. And this is a female, and this is a male. And how you tell it, um, how you sex rams is, you see how her dorsal thin, this is, there's no, it's all the same height. When you come over to the males, you see how he's got that little point right there? It's not really showing good on camera, but he's got that little point, and that's a male. The male will have a, t oh, um, a higher dorsal fin. My angel's doing great. There's my koi. Um, I don't know what it is yet. The papilla is starting to show. I don't know. I have a feeling it's a female. My blushing's back there, and my gold, I think they paired off, which is great. I think the gold banana is a male, um, the gold veil, and I think they paired off. I know these two paired off a long time ago. This is the female. This is the male. He's a dominant male here. Okay, so CO2, you can see I got a little generator right there. And yes, I know I'm going to get some comments saying there's no filter on this generator. There's none of this, that, and that. Okay, let me talk. I did not get my filtration. As you can see, there's no um, PVC piping and stuff. I didn't get it last Saturday, yesterday, because I had to do some Christmas shopping, and that kind of cost over a hundred some dollars. So um, I had to do some Christmas shopping, and I didn't have enough money to get the, all the PVC pipes and stuff. I had, I had enough money to get half of it, and I said, I don't want to do that because it's going to make me anxious. Let's just knock it out in one hit, and I'll get it next time I come over to Lowe's and get um, some PVC piping. <clears throat> so last night, or yesterday morning or something like that, around 12 o'clock a day, I set up this TO2 generator. Basically, it's got a cup of sugar, hot water, uh, a little more than a, table, a half tablespoon of baking soda and cooking yeast and that baking soda and cooking yeast just makes it go on longer now it's not the best recipe and it doesn't have a diffuser I mean it doesn't have a um, filter on it, it doesn't have a, d a good diffuser and uh, it just sucks right now but it's kind of just in there for the benefit of I'm getting those Amania gracilis back I'm getting some more Altina Thray of Niki um, Rotala, the Rotala is starting to look without the uh, CO2 um, I'm getting, what else am I getting? Oh, 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 I'm going to leave that one a surprise. But, um, I'm getting some good plants in here. And they're going to need CO2. And with the CO2 in here, it's going to make these plants pop out even more. And they're going to grow quicker. Now, one thing I did do is I put a, I put a, um, a BioQ protein skimmer wooden air stone on that thing. And I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it's shooting out little tiny micro bubbles. And I expected the micro bubbles to be bigger, but it's so tiny, you got to get real close to see the bubbles come out. And that's what I want, um, because the smaller the bubbles, the more it's going to diffuse in the water. You see my surface agitation. Surf surface agitation is pretty much nothing at all.
You guys can really see the uh, CO2 bubbles up here because it's closer to the light. The same thing is going down there. They're just more clustered right here. This is CO2 what I want. And when I put this in my diffuser, uh, which will be the return pump for the tank, these bubbles are going to stay constantly in the water chamber and it's going to dissolve 100%. This is actually smaller bubbles than I want it. And they're so small, but they're coming out so much. Um, you can see they're just, they're not even diffusing. They're, I mean, they're not even like breaking the surface they're so small they're just diffusing right in the water up there because the surface agitation is zero now um let me show you something i expect to see some lush lush look at that german blue I mean, electric blue ram just stands out in the tank um, I, ex I expect to see some insane growth in these plants, and I don't know why, maybe i got to do some research on it, maybe i do some research on my own just for my tank, but it's best when you're doing scientific research to get quantitative, I mean quali uh, quantitative numbers, more than one, um, re one field of research, you need a lot of things because it could just be some other factor in your tank, but I'm getting off topic, but I'm going to research it, and research in my own tank, I don't know why, but ever since I put the CO2 in the tank, my tank is cleared up a bit more, and I haven't done a water change in over a week, so I, I got to do some research on that, maybe the tank's maturing, maybe the tank is, has something to do with the CO2, because maybe the CO2 is again absorbed by the plants, and the plants are removing more waste and color, coloration and odor and out, of the, out of the system, so I don't know, but that's what's going on with my tank, guys. I got one more thing to show you dealing with salt water at the end of the video and uh, here's just an overview of my tank basically um, what I've got in the tank right now is 11 neon tetras, two rainbows, one praecox male, one bosmani female I've got five angelfish that are coming in the picture right now beautifully there's a koi which I think is a female there's my female marble, there's my half blushing marble, half half marble half blushing male dominant male there's my other male which I'm pretty sure is a male yet but I'm not positive um, he's a golden veil here's my blushing um, I've got a German blue ram an electric blue ram male and female uh, there they are right there and I got two ballast sharks five serpe tetras and three swart side catfish and three corridors catfish so that's what's going on guys got any questions let me know comment rate subscribe later that's what I want to show you. Purple mushroom, that's right. Salty Wayne is about to take back the 55. Stay tuned to updates. Comment, rate, subscribe. Later.